All right, guys, we're going to start off with a teardown video on the i4S. First, you're going to want to take your Pinelope screwdriver, remove the two bottom screws. Slide the back cover up and remove. The inside is very similar to the iPhone 4 Verizon model, that would be the CDMA model, um, but there are some slight differences. First you'll notice that there are two screws for the battery connector. Those would be the first to go. Once you've removed those screws, then you would take your non-conductive spudging tool and lift the battery connector gently. You'll also notice that the antenna cover is located beneath one of the battery connector screws. Next, you're going to remove your battery by pulling on the plastic tab. If it gives you a hard time, Take your spudging tool and just pry it gently from the back side of the battery. Be sure not to puncture the battery. All right. Fold this out of the way. Next, you're going to want to disconnect your antenna very gently. Next, let's go ahead and remove the SIM card. Right. Now, here we have a plate cover that holds the flex for the dot connector down. Let's remove the two screws there. And get this cover out of the way. Now you'll notice that there are four screws here on the metal plate that holds down all of your flex connectors. We can start by removing these four screws. They are all in different sizes, so make sure you organize them in a way that you remember which size goes where. Now you want to gently pry up the flex plate and remove. Okay, now we have one more flex plate cover to remove and it's here. It's very fragile, so be careful. All right, now you have one two actually lies underneath of this flex here three four five six seven flex connectors plus the dot connector makes eight start by gently prying them up with your non-conductive spudging tool at this point the battery has been disconnected so um, you don't have to worry about electricity but it's still good to use the soft edges of a plastic tool all right, and make sure you don't forget this connector here, which is underneath. Remove your camera. <clears throat> These flex cables here are, are for the touch digitizer and the LCD. These are the flex cables for the screen that we're removing today. 
And don't forget one last flex connector here. Now we want to start with flathead screwdriver and we have a couple of screws here. Let's remove this screw. Okay. Now we also have a screw here that hold, holds the board to the frame. Remove that. Okay. And we also have a screw here hidden underneath a bit of black tape. You're going to want to scrape that tape away. Make sure that you don't lose the little bracket that is a uh, grounding bracket shown here. It is connected to the motherboard. save your tape. It's always good to put everything back like you found it. Alright, let's wrap this up. Two screws on the speaker assembly at the bottom. Now you can gently pull this out. There's also a plastic bracket that holds the speaker assembly in place with one of those screws. Make sure you don't lose that. Or your speaker assembly will not stay down on one side. Okay. Alright, now we have one more screw here in the back by the vibrate motor. Alright, now as long as your SIM card has been removed, we should be ready for pulling the board. Let's make sure we have everything pulled up. Oh. There's one more screw here. Use your flathead screwdriver for this one. Now you can pull the board. Okay, there's your motherboard. All right. Now you want to use your spudging tool and gently pry up your vibrate motor. It is stuck down with a bit of adhesive. All right, now to pull the screen, there are 10 screws. One is covered by tape here in the top corner. There's another here in this top corner and at the bottom corners. You also have three screws with washers on each side of the phone. All right, we'll start by removing these corner screws. Try to save your tape if possible. Okay. And the same size Phillips screwdriver will work for all of these. And there's one. And we are going for two. This little cover goes back inside here for your camera. Your camera sits on it. All right. And the three screws on the other side of the frame have already been removed for time's sake. And they are, as you can see, here, here, and here. Alright, now to remove your screen, since this screen isn't broken, you want to gently pry it up with a razor blade. 
the screen is already broken, then feel free to break it off. But then again, always be careful when removing the screen is not to damage any of the other components that lie underneath. Now you can use a metal spudging tool for more leverage. You just want to get one corner underneath. Always try to pry with your tip pointed down as to not, not to scrape the paint off of the back of the new screen. Okay. Okay guys, this is the complete teardown of the iPhone 4S. This is what the screens look like. Um, be sure to visit our website. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to contact us and have a great day.